Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. This is Frankie, and this is your March 2024 weekly forecast for the next seven days. So whenever this gets to you, we are in the new year. Happy New Year, astrological, eerie season, right? So we're closing the last 12 months, and now this is the new beginning for the next 12 months. So let's bring in that fire. I've been waiting on that fire. I'm sure you have been too. I've got the hanged man here, overall energy. So kind of sitting in limbo, not sure what to do here. This week could be a transition week for you. Maybe seeing things from a different perspective, maybe seeing some change, maybe not feeling so stuck this week, right? With that fire energy coming in. We do have a uh, full moon eclipse coming in, right? So that can uh, bring a closure, bring things up. Um, it's a cycle, cycle closer, closure from last October and the last eclipses we had. So something could be coming up that hasn't been resolved yet. This could be a time to release some karma in your life, karmic situations. And it's also could just be a good healing time for you. If you don't have, you know, it just could be a really good time for you. I'm looking forward. I'm actually looking forward to this season. All right. So we have the eight of pentacles showing up for you this week. So really focused. And we have the eight of wands. So the eight of wands wasn't reversed at first. So it does feel like something was like you've been up against something or you've been feeling um, maybe a lack of inspiration. It could be around work. It could be that you've been focusing so much on something. Right. And it's about releasing, letting go, especially with uh, the hanged man. All right. So that hanged man is all about sacrifices to what we sacrifice now will affect us in the future. So what are you sacrificing? Um, you know, are you sacrificing your excite excitement in your life, fun in your life, passion in your life? Um, you know, what's holding you back here? Because the eight of wands in reverse can be like, you know, I feel stuck. I feel like things aren't moving. You know, I feel like, you know, and the eight of pentacles to me can sometimes be too overly focused in one area of your life and the rest of your life is passing you by, right? So we want the eight of wands to turn up, right? And so I always will look at a reversal, but would tell you the potential this week for things to shift and things to change this week. So if you've been feeling like the brakes have been on or something's been stalling or you've been feeling burnt out, this could be a week where you shift in your perspective and focus in on other areas that need your attention. We'll get things to move. Sometimes when we take our mind off of the thing that is we're so hyper-focused on, take a step back for a little bit and focus on other things, that thing will have time to marinate and grow, right? And on its own. We don't need to keep tending to it. So I do see the page of wands here, all right? And it's like, it's time for you to have some fun is what I'm getting. I feel like there's a there's been a lack of inspiration um, in some of my Leo's life. Like you've been waiting for some action to happen. You're waiting for some fun, all right? The page of wands is all about going out and having a good time, finding something creative to do. You do have a lot of passionate energy here. All right. So this week, if you've been feeling like uh, the flirting has slowed down with you and your person or there's just been no movement with you and your person, um, where's the fun? Where's the excitement? Well, this week, it seems as though there's a shift here. You may be focused too much on on what's not happening. And when you take your mind off that, you will see here that there's a lot of, you know, action happening with communication, messaging back and forth. Remember, we are going into Mercury retrograde, so I do like to say with the Eight of Wands here, especially because it was in reverse at first, um, that this can be tension back and forth, too. You may be finding yourself um, miscommunicating with the people in your inner circle, all right, um, your family and your friends or the people that you're flirting with, all right, you may find that things are, mis are misunderstood, and uh, we want to avoid any kind of conflict, uh, so that's just a... Just keep that in mind as we're coming up. I see the world card showing up for you. So major accomplishment this week. One door closes, another door opens. So there could be a doorway opening up for you. I do see the hermit card. So that's a, maybe feeling a little bit lonely this week or backing up a little bit, isolating yourself a little bit so you can focus on the next chapter of your life. And we have two of wands showing up for you. What's holding you back, All right? You've got, let me, let me pull a couple more cards here. All right, we have the four of pentacles, all right? And like I said, we have the hanged man energy. So this week is definitely about you um, 
taking a step back here. This could be something about your future, something about, you know, you're looking out there, you're looking ahead, you want, you're focused ahead, what's going on now? What are you sacrificing now? Um, what's already here for you now? All right. Maybe some of you are so focused on the two of wands, waiting on something to happen. Right. The four of pentacles is telling me you're holding on too tightly. And it's usually around your material world. It's around your finances. It's around not sure if you're going to get enough in the future. So you're 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 so hyper focused now. Right. That can show that energy that I was seeing here with the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands in reverse. All right. Your things are not going to move any faster, but you have have this four of pentacles which can say um it gives off a vibration like i've got to hold on to what i've got i got to make sure i'm making what i got because i may not get it in the future and the hermit card is asking you to take a step back and do a little reflection here and look at how far you've come and know that you know the two of wands here just you're you're sacrificing with the hanged man your quality time this week by focusing too much in the future so the page of wands here is asking you to have a little fun, lighten up this week and do something really fun. Flirt with somebody. This could be a good energy and love for you to flirt with your person. Reach out, send a sweet emoji, see what you get back, right? Because it does seem like this is a good week for that. Um, the Hermit card too can show a moment this week too where you just feel like being alone. Maybe it is a good time for you to take a step back and take a look. The Two of Wands energy with this Eclipse energy can say, I've been going down this path, right? And I, you know, I, I want to go down this path. I need to go, I need to get out of my comfort zone and go down this path. I need to reflect on, um, on getting, doing something different. Trust in, trust in where the universe has taken me letting go of some things from the past that, you know, it's just really is. It's all, the journey is all about letting go, right? Being able to live in the now, live in the present moment and enjoy everything that's showing up for us right now and letting go of the past um, stories we have that keep rewriting. And this four of pentacles is an energy that holds on to an old way of thinking, you know, um, you just, it's, that's a lack mindset here. Right, the two of wands, if you're trying, if you're waiting for something to come to your door, um, it's like the two of wands is saying you've got to get out of your comfort zone and you've got to seek. You've got to go somewhere, travel, see what's out there and check things out. The two of wands and the page of wands can show making plans this week to go somewhere fun with somebody. So there's an opportunity for you to to hang out with somebody to get together, flirt, um, have fun, go to a, this could even be creative, you know, going to a little concert, going to an art gallery, going somewhere like that with your person. So one door closes, another door opens. Always remember that um, you are a fixed sign and sometimes it's hard to let go of a chapter. It's hard to let go of something. You want something to stay exactly how it is. You don't want anything to change, right? And the four of pentacles is holding on, but it's inevitable. The hermit card is showing one journey is closing, the next journey is beginning, all right, with that world card. So things may shift for you this week when it comes to making plans for your future as well, too. Um, things might not, you can't hold on to the way something is forever, All right. So it's about seeing things from a different perspective. I do see the Three of Cups here for you, and the Three of Cups is talking about connecting this week to a good people. This might be a good time um, to get out there and go hang out if you're single. This is a good time, you know, because the hermit card is showing up. Maybe some of you are reflecting on how long you've been alone for. All right, this is a good week for you to get out there and meet people. So let's see love for you. We got the page of wands, we got the eight of wands, and we got the two of wands. So a lot of fire energy showing up in the love department of your life. And then I'll look at Aries through Pisces and see who you might hear from this week. This card wanted to stay there. Ooh, this card wanted to stay there. Ten of Cups. All right, somebody getting down on their knee. Somebody telling you how much they love you. All right, so there is a nice energy here around love for my Leos. Page of Pentacles, all right, Page of Pentacles bringing in some sweet good news. 
let's compromise or an offer, all right? Uh, I see a very sweet, sincere offer from somebody here. You got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy underneath. Somebody really in love with my Leo, all right? So the world card can talk about, you know, the next chapter, guys. Come on. Maybe some of you have been feeling a little alone here. The hermit card. Uh, one door closes, another opens, like I said. So some of you, this could be the week, the page of wands here, flirting with somebody and, and things picking up pace here. But you might be holding yourselves back from love. This is for those singles because you're focused too much on work or something, you know, and you're not you're not getting out there. You're not doing anything fun. Right. So this is going to be a week where there could be somebody here um, trying to poke at you and just say, hi, Leo, I want to get to know you. Right, we have the seven of cups. So in love, you have a lot of options here, right? You definitely have somebody thinking about you and their feelings about you, right? Maybe even possibly fantasizing about a future with you. The justice card, as I said that, all right? So some sort of harmony coming in around relationships this week. This is a good week for you to receive some sort of truth um, around a relationship. If you're in a relationship, this is a good week with that justice card for you to find some sort of balance, all right? Where have you not been focusing on? Um, where have you been neglecting your relationship? Or where have you been feeling neglected in a relationship? This week, again, with that page of wands is talking about, hey, we got to have fun here. We got to do something together, all right? So it's a good week here for justice when it comes to a relationship. And we have the Knight of Cups. So I am seeing a romantic date, somebody expressing how they feel. I feel like they could be a water sign or an earth sign who's saying, um, wearing their heart on their sleeves to you this week and telling my Leos how much they love them. All right. And this Knight of Cups can be maybe getting married. Somebody, maybe one of you lucky Leos, uh, somebody is, is one, they might even just tell you they want to marry you. All right. You're the person of their dreams. All right. This could also be the person you're with just telling you how much they really love you. And uh, they still want to grow and see where things go. So you have the Ten of Cups, which shows a happily ever after, you know, uh, with this relationship that you're connected to. If it's a new person, give this person a chance. The Page of Pentacles, let them get to know you. Um, they might come in a little bit, you know, I kind of see quirky nerdy sometimes when I see the Page of Pentacles, you know, um, but they take things slow. But the thing about the Page of Pentacles, right, is this person works really hard to get what they want and you don't see what's behind behind them. They have a lot more to offer than, they might be a little bit shy at first about throwing all their cards on the table, but this is somebody, look what's behind them. You got the King of Cups, a very ambitious businessman, right? Or, you know, it doesn't matter the gender, but this is somebody who has a lot to offer, but they might be very timid or reserved at first. All right, so that's what I've got for you for love. It does seem like possibility here to be making some future plans here with that Two of Wands. Let's see Aries through Pisces. So let's see who's going to be flirting with you this week and who, um, or who's going to be communicating with you. The justice card is talking about bringing harmony to a relationship, but the justice card also is about bringing harmony to a relationship, which could mean closing a soul contract. It could be saying this karmic cycle is over as well. You know, let's find some closure here. Because you have the justice in the world card and the hermit card which says some of you um, might not like change, but things might be changing for you when it comes to, I need to, I need to go on this new journey. I need to see what's out there for me. Let's see, Aries, Seven of Pentacles. So Aries is definitely, this week, you guys could be making some plans here with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles gives me an energy that you guys have already invested in this. Um, so let's reevaluate and not make the same mistakes again. But it seems like you guys are trying to find a way around whatever problem and bring in harmony to your situation, finding happiness. We have Taurus, Eight of Pentacles. So it seems like you and another Taurus, seems like you're focused. You're not focused on each other enough. You're not focused on fun. Um, both of you are working a lot or they're working a lot and it's stressing you out. You haven't been getting communication from them because they're always busy. This week, things might not change with them. But you may still communicate with them, but it seems as though they're still kind of doing their thing. They've, they've got their main focus on their career. 
We have Gemini, Knight of Pentacles. So Gemini is serious about you, but a very hard worker, working hard to get your attention, working hard to make things right, working hard to fix things, working hard to make themselves look good for you. They are determined here to see movement this week. Cancer, the big sun sign. Cancer's got you on their mind. The sun is here. Cancer wants to have fun, keep things lighthearted, be playful. There's a lot of romantic energy this week around you and a Cancer. So there could be some healing energy here, some playfulness, some fun times together with this energy with Cancer. Leo, the Emperor card, big boss, working on your monies, working on your working on your your um your foundation, all right? So you and another Leo could be making business together, all right, or making plans, future plans together. We have Virgo, nine of swords, all right? Virgo has enough pain dealt with, is dealing with pain, is done with the situation. So there could be some closure with you and a Virgo. Libra, page of cups. So we are seeing a Libra come in here and flirt with you this week. There could be some sweet nothings coming in with a Libra. Scorpio needs space. Four swords. You might have no contact with a Scorpio. They're healing. Uh, they feel like their trust has been broken. Uh, Sagittarius, judgment. So Sag is making a decision, too, about the connection. Uh, they may feel like you guys have made bad decisions in the past. Can you guys get over it? Can you move forward? Um, do you want a second chance? But this can be like that justice card, judgment. Do we want to do over or should we do what's best, right? Capricorn, five of coins. Capricorn's kind of struggling with the connection, uh, feeling kind of, uh, you know, left out, maybe rejected or feeling like you guys just can't seem to find common ground um, when it comes to certain things. So this week you may be finding yourself either feeling rejected or left out or struggling with a Capricorn. Aquarius, we've got the Magician card. Anything's possible with a Magician card. There's a lot of potential here. Uh, seems as though they'll, you guys are both thinking about each other and you guys are both attracted to each other. Pisces, holding themselves together, the Strength card. They may be um, holding back, um, kind of keeping themselves reserved right now, staying strong, um, but the, I don't see them kind of there's something about pride and there's something about holding back having self-control this week so they may hold back this week on you i have the six of wands the overall energy is rewards for you and maybe even taking a relationship to the next level this week with the six of wands so this is uh recognizing where you stand in a relationship this week so i love you guys i'll see you soon and happy new year take care